In the previous video, we went over value types that are available in Viper. And in this video, I'm going to show you the reference types that are available in Viper. So first of all, what is reference types? Reference types are variables that are passed by the location of where that variable is stored. This means that when two variables are referencing the same data and you make change to one variable, then that change is also reflected in the other variable. To show you an example here, I have a list of numbers in Python. And in Python, list is a reference type. So when we reassign a reference type by here saying ys equals xs, and then make change to one of the variables. So I'll say ys of 0 equals 9. Then this will obviously change the value of ys at 0. And this might come as a surprise to you, but this will also change the value of xs at 0. Even though we only made modification to ys. All right, so that was a quick overview of reference types. These are variables that represent where the actual data is stored. So that if two variables are referencing the same location and you make change to one of them, then that change is also reflected in the other variable. The reference types available in Viper are list, mappings, and structs. So I'll go over each of them explaining how to declare it, access it, and write to it. And we also examine how reference types in Viper behave a little bit different from other programming languages. The first reference type that I'm going to show you are lists. And to declare one, we'll start with the name. I'll call it nums. And we'll make it public variable. And this will be a list of unt256, so I'll say unt256, followed by brackets. Now recall that Viper does not allow unbounded list, so here we'll have to specify a number, and I'll say 10. This will create a variable called nums, and the type of this variable is a list of unt256 with at most 10 elements. Now, unlike Solidity, if I try to declare an unbounded list by not specifying the maximum length of the list, so here I'll remove the 10. And if I try to compile it using my terminal, so I'll say Viper followed by the name of the file, you can see here that Viper does not allow me to create an unbounded list. So I'm going to fix this by putting back the 10 here. So that's how you create a list. Let's now move on to mappings. I'll create a mapping called my map, and it's going to be a public variable. And we say hash map, followed by brackets. And inside the brackets, you put in the type of the key, followed by the type of the value. We'll create a mapping from address to uint. 256, and that's how you create your mapping. Next, I'll show you how to create a struct. So first, we'll need to declare a struct. And you can do that by saying struct. For this example, I'll create a person struct. And inside the struct, we'll hold name of type string at most 100 characters and age of type uint256. So that's how you declare a struct. Let's now initialize it as a variable. So we'll say person is public, followed by the type of struct, and this will be a person. And that's how you declare a variable of type person struct. Let's now initialize these variables. To initialize these variables, we'll need to define a constructor, and we can do that by defining an init function. So first, we'll say at external, and then define the init function by saying two underscore init, two underscore parentheses, colon. And this will be our constructor, which will be called only once when this contract is deployed. Let's now set these variables to some values. We'll set the nums at index 5 equal to 1 to 3. For the mapping, I'll say 
my map at message dot sender is equal to four five six. Here, message dot sender will be the address of the account that deployed this contract. Moving on, we'll say that the person's name is equal to Viper. All right, these are examples of how to access and write each of the reference data types. Let's now talk about how reference types in Viper are a little bit different from other programming language like Python. And the first reference type that we'll take a look at are lists. We'll copy over the nums variable, which is a list of UN256. And we'll name it R. The type will be the same as nums, so it will be uint256 list type with at most 10 elements. And we'll reassign it by saying self.nums. We'll modify this variable by saying r of 0 is equal to 999. From the Python example that I've showed you earlier, you would expect that this would modify the nums list at index 0. But surprisingly, this does not. And I'll show you this in Remix later on. So I'll put a comment here saying does not modify nums at 0. Mappings, you cannot reassign them to a variable. So here I'll say mappings cannot be local variable. Structs in Viper also behave differently unlike other programming languages. When you reassign a struct to another variable and then modify that variable, this does not change the value of the original variable. So for example, we'll say p of type person is equal to self.person. Here we are reassigning the person struct to a variable named p, and we'll change the name by saying p.name is equal to solidity. And this is not going to change the name that is stored inside the person struct. So in the remix demo that I will show you later, the name of this person struct will still be equal to viper and not solidity. All right, we'll make sure that this contract compiles. So I'm going to open my terminal and then say Viper followed by the name of this file. The contract compiled, so let's now copy the code onto Remix. So I have Remix open in my browser and we'll activate Viper. And then create a file called ref types dot by and then paste the code i'm going to compile this code so i'm going to hit the viper icon remote compiler compile our contract compiled so let's now deploy this so i'll hit deploy scroll down First, let's check that nums at index 5 is equal to 1, 2, 3. And it is. And let's now check that nums at index 0 is not equal to 999, which we modified here. And it is not equal to 999. It is still equal to 0. So this shows that reference types in Viper behave differently unlike other programming languages. What is happening here on line 24 is that when we reassign a reference type to a variable, this here is creating a brand new copy of all of the values in here. So that when we make a change here, this does not affect the original list. And this is the same case for structs in Viper. And we can check this by clicking on person and the name of the person is still equal to Viper and not Solidity. So again here, when we assign a reference type of struct to a variable P, this here is copying all of the values stored in person struct so that when we modify the name over here, 
it does not affect the original struct. That was a video about reference types in Viper. I've showed you how to declare read and write into lists, mappings, and structs. And we also saw how reference types in Viper do not change the underlying data when we reassign them to a new variable. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.